Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn how to connect our IP Bird Box camera to our Hike Vision and VR. Hike Vision is a brand that is commonly used in many surveillance systems and most of our home surveillance systems we use Hike Vision as well because it's like a very universal brand. It accepts a lot of different IP cameras. So today we're going to learn how to connect our green backyard bird box camera to the Hike Vision NVR. So we have one set right here already and as a, for an NVR it is very beneficial for to us because it can First of all, we can access like the video image on a monitor connected to it and accepts HDMI and VJ. And then we can also attach hard disk drives in, uh, with the NVR for like massive recordings. Now let's take a look at the bird box cameras. Our green backyard bird box cameras, we have three types in total, very general IP cameras. The first one is our wireless Wi-Fi bird box camera and like its name, it transmits the signal wirelessly. And this is what's special about it. We only, we don't need to, we can deploy it like in the, a lot of places where wired bird box cameras are hard to reach. Then it's the same kind of design, but this one is a PoE wired bird box camera. This one, we use an ethernet cable for its data transmission. Also, we, it is capable of accepting PoE technology. So we can also choose to use the Ethernet cable for both power and data. Okay, then it's this bird feeder, bird, bird feeder camera. Our bird feeder camera is a little bit different than our bird box camera because the bird feeder camera is bigger than the bird box camera. This, the bird box camera is designed as tiny size to fit in most bird boxes because we don't want it to be this big. If we put it in, the birds will have like not a lot of space to fly around, jump around. And this one is also waterproof. So it's basically designed for outdoor conditions. A lot of features. Our green backyard bird box cameras, they have 1080p high, def high definition resolution. This will help us get, get a clear look at the birds. And then it's the built-in audio, helps us listen to the tweet. Uh, infrared, it's then it gives us the ability of night vision so we can see them when it's dark around. And also it has adjustable lenses. So whenever you move the camera to different positions, you can always reset the focal length so we can have clear images as well. And then it's the recording feature. The recording feature, you know, when, it, when we connect it to an NVR, it will help us record some precious moments and we can go back and watch it again and again. It's really come well, it's really assuring we can have precious moments once in a while. So now I'm going to show you guys how we should connect a functioning bird box camera to our Hike Vision in VR. So first of all, we have a bird box right here set. This is a wired bird box camera and later I'm going to connect it and let's going to see how we should add it to our Hike Vision net list. So first of all, you know, we have to set up our Hike Vision. This is a Hike Vision MVR. And then after connecting to a monitor, powering it up, we use an Ethernet cable and transmit the data to our Bird Box camera. And then also we're going to use a external power, external power to power it up and we should give it a second or so then we can go and look for the camera. Okay now here we have the Hike Vision interface. This is what we see initially and we are sure that our bird box camera is successfully connected and then we will right click somewhere empty. This menu comes out we go to the common menu choose camera And then this camera management shall pop up. Right here it has detected our camera. And now we just add the camera. Give it a second. And now the camera is added. And since it's going through the system right now, the status is unknown. We'll just wait a second for it to successfully go through. And then we can now activate the camera, access it. And you see, this is our bird box camera's image. I'll stick my finger inside for you guys to see. 
it is a real live time video. Okay. That's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, you can leave them at the section below. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.